The Hayes High boys and girls basketball teams are about to conclude their seasons. The girls teams went through many changes with a new coaching staff and new basketball mentality, while the boys continue to build from last year's season state run. I spoke with the new girls assistant coach, Brandon Masca, and head coach, Alex Hutchins, on the coaching philosophies. You were a part of the boys basketball team last year and switched to the girls program this year. What influenced your decision? You know, I was just looking for a different challenge. I really enjoyed my time on the boys staff last year and I've actually always coached boys. Um, but going over to the girls, just like I said, a new experience, new challenge, looking to help build that program up, um, just take it to a different level. And, and I do have past experience with coaching all, with all the new girls coaches. You're part of a pretty experienced coaching staff. How does that benefit you as a coach? Hey, you know, I, like I said, I know all the, the coaches I'm coaching with now. They've coached me in the past. I've also coached with them in the past. So, you know, it's just good. We have a, a good rapport. Um, we, you know, each pitch in on ideas to help the team improve. Um, and we all kind of have the main mindset when it comes to basketball. What is something you're looking forward to this season? You know, I'm one of those coaches I really like practice. Um, but, you know, with the times we're in now, I'm really looking forward to every game we get a play in. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know all the girls on the team because, like I said, this is my first year with the girls program. And, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer. I hope we can win at all three levels, you know, with being varsity, JV, and freshman. What are your main difficulties this year and how are you planning on approaching them? Uh, the main difficulties, you know, I think we just need to build the girls' confidence. Um, you know, they're, they've gone through coaching changes the past few years, um, you know, just developing and building their confidence. And, you know, every day in practice and each week I can see us getting better. And um, I think the girls are wanting to improve. Um, they're doing what they're asked, they're being coachable, and their effort is unbelievable. I mean, I think they've taken a lot of steps in improving on defense, and I think once we start playing more games each week, you'll see more success on the court. What's something you are hopeful for as the team progresses this year? Um, I'm just hoping all the girls have a positive experience with basketball. Um, we got a good number of girls out. We want to keep seeing that year in and year out, and then, like I said, I'll end it with this. I, I really want to see our freshmen, JV, and varsity all succeed and, and win a lot of games. We also spoke with Alex Hutchins, head coach of the boys basketball program, about the path he hopes to continue to build on from last year. Last season was super successful, but also bittersweet in terms of the ending. Does that help fuel your team this season? I think so. Uh, I think it fueled us a lot in the off season. Uh, I think it really got the guys revved up and, and ready to go once we were able to get back into the weight room and into the gym. And so um, I think there's a little bit of, of unfinished business or, or feeling like the story's not complete, but at the same time, uh, that was you know a different team and, and a different state tournament and different season. And so uh, we, we've kind of got to live in the moment too. We, we can't let that fuel too much of our thought process. In regards to last year's season, what are some of the most valuable things you've learned? I think that me as a coach and then also just our entire team, we learn um, how important defense is and, and how successful we can be when we play good defense. And um, I think we learned how important leadership is. You know, between Dylan and Dalen last year, we had some really outstanding leaders. And um, early in this year, I feel like we've had some people step up to the plate and, and try to take some of that role on as well. And so. Um, you know, you combine the defense and the leadership and, and just having a tight-knit team, and I think those make it possible to do a lot of things. What are your main difficulties this season, and how do you plan on approaching them? Our main difficulties this season are just going to be um, staying focused on the day-to-day -day and, you know, just competing and making the most out of each practice and each game because I do think because of some of the success we had last year, it's easy for us to kind of look towards the end of the year and, and think about postseason and, and trying to win championships. And if we get too caught up in looking too far down the road, we, we won't take care of what's right in front of us. What's something you're most looking forward to this season? I'm just looking forward to the opportunity to compete. And, you know, so far things have gone well and, and we've had to have any major issues and, and hopefully it stays that way. You know, hopefully we 
we just get to play as many games as possible and, and don't have too many shutdowns or too many issues with COVID and we're able to just make the most of the year. You played the shootout games with no fans in attendance. What was that like as a coach and how do you feel about the rule change of having up to four spectators per person allowed to attend? You know, I thought it'd be really different, but here at home, it wasn't too different. And a lot of it has to do with, uh, you know, the support that we get from our teammates who are sitting behind the bench and, and our cheerleaders and our band, you know, they're outstanding. And, and they really make, you know, the home atmosphere feel like it's pretty close to normal. But um, I'm, I'm glad they changed the rule and I'm glad they're letting the, the parents come. And, um, you know, it might help a little bit for the atmosphere and having some fans in the stands but more than anything I'm just happy for the families and for the parents that, that they're able to be a part of the experience and, and don't have to miss out on anything sitting at home. Thanks to Coach Maska and Coach Alex Hutchins on explaining how they build their progress in team's positive environment. Both teams are excited for what the rest of this season holds and are hopeful that it can bring progress throughout their teams. Thank you for watching. I'm Ashlyn Flax reporting for Tribe Sports.